All right, hi, how's everyone doing tonight? Great. Uh, I'm up here to talk about an organization called Transcendence. We meet on Monday nights at 7.30 in Hannah Hall 107, and we have education, support, and activism concerning transgender, intersex, and gender identity, gender expression, and just stuff that goes on in gender. We have conversations about why certain cultures say men should act this way and women should act this way, a different way. We discuss uh, different rights and movements in our country and we just provide support for people who feel like they want to express themselves differently but don't fit in anywhere. So if anybody would love to come out to this organization, please do. Again, it meets Mondays at 7.30 in Hannah Hall 107. Cool. Uh, next up, we have Errol, if he's no, no, just cool with that. Just keep going. Hey, Errol, you want to come up here? And keep your line, Errol. Go, go, go. You want to? Oh, okay. Uh, then, Matt, Matt, you're good to go? Okay, sure. What, what's the time? Yeah, there's someone. <laughs> All right, next up we have Manuel Yang. Um, I actually don't know what he's doing. Uh, yeah, you guys right ahead and give him a round of applause. Thank you, everybody. Whoa. Uh, I'll kind of start off slow. I uh, represent, like many people in the audience, the SOS Brigade. The Multimedia Arts Collective, we're doing everything from creative writing to making movies, music, dance, acting. If you're interested, please join us. So I want to read, start off by reading uh, from Leonard Cohen, which was a poem that he wrote for us 14 years ago, before we existed. It was a prophecy for us. This is called... Uh, if I can find it, SOS 1995. Take a long time of your anger, sleepyhead. Don't waste it in riots. Don't tangle it with ideas. The devil won't let me speak. Will only let me hint that you are a slave. Your misery, a deliberate policy of those in whose fall you suffer and who are sustained by your misfortune. The atrocities over there, the interior paralysis over here, please with a better deal, you are clamped down. You are being bred for pain. The devil ties my tongue. I'm speaking to you. Friend of my scribbled life, you've been conquered by those who know how to conquer the invisible. Curtains loom so beautiful. Lace curves of sound, sweet old entry. The devil tempting to turn away from alarming you. So I must say quickly, whoever is in your life, those who harm you, those who help you, those whom you know and those who, whom you do not know, let them off the hook. Help them off the hook. Recognize the hook. You are listening to Radio Resistance. This next one is uh, written by me, after Leonard Cohen. Actually, I didn't know the poem existed until uh, I wrote it. In the back room, in the projections room of In the Realm of Senses, I was showing this movie in May in 1976. Hardcore porn? Not really. It was a movie about uh, the radical revolution that you can experience through love to the extremity. So this is a poem called SOS, a sort of manifesto. Stop the muse from sticking the gun of imagination to your head, or your words will bleed in broken consonants and singed vowels. Stark adjectives rested from the gnashed bowels of heaven. 
sink low into the underground of your uncertain mind where oceanic currents collide and splinter like homeless, feverish atoms. Smearing your original face before your mother conceived you, your streaks of unwashed blood, straight from the gut of an invariant land. Slaughtered for Christ's whose names are sung in strange rhythms of September nights in Bowling Green at the Falcon's Nest and severed from the ledger of false Satan's, our brothers and sisters, resurrected by our sins, desires, unreconstructed rage, shoveled from the earth by our narrow binding hands, stupefied and tired from unending labor and whiskey of oblivious prayers, chapped petals of sounds cracking in a solitary yet collective negation of a soul without form, spirit without ontological meaning, be it God screaming, or a butterfly's pigments lit up incandescently by a child's playful matchstick. SOS, neither a symbol nor an overture of failed revolutions to come. Just simple letters demanding the silence of thought to say nothing of words, men, and prophets. Of this we shall sing. Sing without sacred intent, with voices doused in infernal gasoline. Sing and sing again until we orbit like lost immaterial comets. Singing the minor catastrophe of our nameless loves, nameless dying, nameless defeats, we create wherever we are, alone, together, here and now. Okay.